What's he getting? That tastes like promotion! Yeah! What's happening, Blades? Well, it's never dull being a Blade, is it? I saw loads of things online over the last couple of days. I saw uh, how can you, how can we possibly sell Sander Burger? It shows a lack of ambition. Um, we're not going to. It'll derail our promotion push. And then it all of a sudden looked like there weren't going to be much interest today. The early doors, it were Fulham, then Newcastle. Then we got a report saying interested cold, and I started seeing stuff like. We need to sell burger. We can't not sell burger because we've got an embargo that we need to pay off and things of that nature. And we don't know what's happening with ownership. And then we're hearing that Premier League teams are coming in for NGI and stuff like that. And you think, what? It, <laughs> deadline day is bad enough as it is, but when you're a blade and you still think we can drop a 12 point lead at top at championship, it's, it's not good for the old ticker. So, Long and short of it is, and now we're on early early doors. If you haven't caught um, myself and Hal on Chef United Way, we did a live stream. Thanks to Chef United Way lads for inviting me back on, and hopefully I'll be doing a few more bits with their channel, which will be great for, as I said last time, it'll be great for me. Hopefully, in terms of getting some some, some eyes on on the the ramble, but hopefully I had a little bit of the, uh, decent content to their their stuff as well. So. But yeah, that were a great chat. So if you haven't seen it, go over and see that. At that point, we were hoping that it would stay as is. And thankfully, it has. <laughs> the main news is they're staying. And that's all we care about. They're going to help us with our promotion push. The old place, man. And with, with that in mind, today's spotlight is on. Prince Abdullah. So, Prince Abdullah is a very controversial figure at Chef United. I've touched on this previously and I'm not going to go into loads of detail. I think there's just something that needs to be said, really. He splits opinion which we all know and, we, and I've, I've gone into detail about and you can look back at my previous videos where I've spotlighted him before. But currently, and obviously he was the main man under the spotlight, he has been since we've been under an embargo. A lot of talk about him being responsible for us being in, under the embargo and not paying the bills and things of that nature. And we won't really truly know the ins and outs of the, all the complexities of the potential takeover deal that's, that's currently happening. I've seen that some are doubting it's happening. It's not, it's definitely happening. Eki wouldn't, they wouldn't be pulling wool over the manager's eyes for one and he wouldn't be talking about it in, in public and in presses and stuff like that if, if there weren't a takeover. I'm very confident it's happening. I never haven't been really. Um, what I want to sort of suggest is how can we criticise the Prince? Because I'm not saying he's been a perfect owner. I think the communication from the club can be quite poor at times. But when it comes down to it, when it comes to backing us and sort of keeping our asset, look at what he's done. He could have sold everybody in, in the summer, pre-season, like strong assets. He could have sold Sander and Illiman and cashed in then. We wouldn't be anywhere near this position. I think we can all agree on that, particularly Illiman, who was, who was had such a standout season. I think we've got to give him huge credit for holding on to the assets for so long. I think then there's... My assumption is there's been a breakdown of communication between uh, current and prospective new owner in terms of who's going to foot the bill for one of the transfers uh, that we haven't paid, placing us in an embargo. We don't know the details, but Darren Smith on Twitter has said that it's the current owner who's foot, footed the bill, essentially, for the the payment and that it'll, the embargo will soon be cleared. No necessity to sell any players. And the board had met earlier today and confirmed no one's going. So from about three, four o'clock, whenever the Chef United Way lads broke the news, we could breathe a full sigh of relief because of that decision that the Prince has taken. And obviously it will be with the full knowledge of the prospective new owner, but it sounds to me like the Prince has driven um, 
the point that he wants to retain the assets, he's paid the bill or is in the process of paying the bill to get us out of the embargo. And I'm sure that'll be resolved as part of the takeover. But again, he's got us out of a hole. Some will argue we shouldn't have been in the hole in the first place, which I understand that point of view. But looking at it from the Prince's perspective, he's entered an exclusivity deal with a, a new owner. The new owner takes on liabilities and will know what, what is due when and things of that nature. Again, I don't know the details of it, but yeah, it's been an unfortunate circumstance. It benefits nobody for us to be in an embargo or certainly not to have any further sanctions. But for me, it's another example of him doing a good job for us. Um, and that may be me being naive. And it, I'm conscious that this will maybe split people on their opinion. And that might negatively affect my channel. But I think as a new channel, I've got to take risks in terms of talking about emotive subjects and I want to be honest with you about how I feel and I, I appreciate what he's done. I think there's a stigma from his fallout with Wilder and I, I'm a huge Wilder fan. I can't state it enough, but there were fault on both parts that with the way they separated, in my opinion. And for me, the Prince hasn't really put a foot wrong since. So let me know what you think. I'm really keen to hear because it's, it's really... Um, Obviously, it's been such a stressful couple of days for us Blades, thinking we were losing the star men. And, and fortunately, they're going to be with us for the rest of the season, which gives us every chance of continuing this fantastic run of form under Eki. So hopefully, despite that sort of blip in terms of the fan base being a little bit fractured and angry at the ownership and the board and lack of communication and Eki being frustrated, clearly and understandably so, Hopefully now we all know that we're still playing with the same chess pieces. We can still continue as we have been doing. Then us fans can get behind and properly the team again. Not that we weren't before, but it just felt like there was a little bit of a split coming again. And hopefully with this news, it can pull us all back together again for that one main aim. And I'm not talking about beating Wrexham. I'm talking about getting that P. Get the P. That's what we're after. So we've... Um, been on a canoe, we've climbed the tree, we've knocked on the door, and now we're gonna... Dive into 500. So... One thing I will say to all my ramblers, thank you to the new subscribers. It's really appreciated. I can't, I'm, I'm not going to go on like I do on, on loads of videos, but one thing I will say is, what is this about? 81% of people watching this video are not subscribed. If 81% of people that watch these videos subscribed, We'd be well up. We'd be. I, I won't be diving into five. I'd be landing in a grand. So I won't say pull your finger out, but let's get those fingers out. Press that subscribe button. It's free for you. Free, completely. It don't cost you anything. I'll move your mouse. Click away. So any support you can give is much appreciated. If you like what I'm doing, let me know. If you don't like what I'm doing, let me know. I won't be super offended as long as you're not too, <laughs> too harsh with it. Um, I'm working on improving the setup because I've just done a couple of videos, like I say, with Chef United Way lads, and I'm conscious, not so much on mine, but on other streams, it's very echoey in here. I don't really want to change my setup because I like the aesthetics of it. I'm just sort of pulling curtain back and being honest with you. So I'm, I'm working on, I've got a couple of ideas on how we can improve the sound quality and things like that. So stay with me, I'm still trying to improve. Much appreciated for your time. Come on, you Norwegian Senegalese blades. Up the blades.